Well, this has been a long-running mystery here in Scotland, and today is the end of what has been that very painful period for the family of Tony Parsons. Uh, Alexander McKellar, the man who was behind the car that night of that fatal collision on the edge of the Scottish Highlands near Bridge of Orkey, has been jailed here in the last few seconds to 12 years behind bars for killing Tony Parsons that evening and then proceeding to cover up the crimes for more than three years. And if that wasn't bad enough, Alexander McKellar engineered his brother into this crime. He was a passenger in the car at that time, Robert McKellar, and the pair of them dug a shallow grave on the remote, rugged, rural estate on the edge of the Scottish Highlands where they lived and dumped Tony's remains in there in an area that was used for disposing of animal remains, dead animal remains. Now, why did this story come to light? Well, it certainly was not for the want of trying from police. There were frantic police searches. There was relentless media appeals. The family of Tony Parsons were begging for help. Clearly, this was a case of a man who'd vanished into thin air while uh, conducting a charity trek through rural Scotland, 100 miles, and he vanished into thin air. And at that point, after three years, the investigation came to a blank until... Sandy, Alexander, as he is known, got into a new relationship with a woman called Caroline Muirhead, who you've been hearing her story on Sky News this morning. And it is an extraordinary tale, that moment where she asked him if he had any secrets that he wanted to reveal, and he pulled over at the side of the road late one evening, three years after the crimes had been committed, and said, it was an accident, I killed him. He then proceeded to lead Caroline to the burial site, the deposition site of where those human remains had been left for so many years. And over the course of the next few months, Caroline left a Red Bull soft drinks can at the scene of that crime and led detectives to that very moment. Now, that allowed Tony clearly to be laid to rest with his loved ones surrounding him at that time. And that has brought about this case that we are talking about here in court today. Alexander McKellar will spend 12 years behind bars. The sentencing is continuing for his co-accused, his brother, Robert McKellar, who also faces a lengthy period behind bars.